My first tango teacher was a ballet dancer from the famous Teatro Colón in Buenos Aires. His name was Carlos. We started as a group and we were very enthusiastic and two months after we started our classes, he suggested that we perform on Robson Square. Robson Square is a place, center of Vancouver, where people come to see good dancers. We had no idea how bad we were dancing, so we agreed, and he started creating a choreography for us. And everything went nicely and excited. We were all excited until he created one move when, imagine, you have to embrace your partner and go on his back with your arm around his body and the other arm around his neck. And in that position, Poor partners were supposed to drag us to the other corner of the room. And we were supposed not to bump into other couples because there were four or six couples and we were all moving to different corners in one room. And at that moment I decided to ask him, Carlos, why do we have to do this intricate move? And he said, this is to signify the bondage of human relationship. At this moment, gradually, the enthusiast of the group fell to the ground and some of them decided to quit until everyone quitted, so the performance was off and we didn't go back to the classes. A year and a half later, I saw that some Argentinian dancers were doing workshops, so I thought it's good for me because I'm already, I already know how to dance. So I went there and there was another teacher, Gabriela, who suggested that I don't know my basics. So I, it's difficult for me to take part in the workshop. And I said, how come I don't know the basics? I studied for several months with Carlos. He said, Julia, you don't know any of the basics. So I signed for the classes with Gabriela, and that was a completely different tango. And that was the beginning of my lifelong romance with Tango. Thank you so much.